Hello, Steve Mills here, and uh, I've got a question for you, and it's a really important question. And that question is, what do you want to do before you send people to your website? What do you need your website to do with that traffic? And the truth of the matter is, you know, if you're like me anyway, and you want to grow your business, you've got to make sure that your website converts. You know, these people that I see all the time, they say things like, well, you know, our website's just a brochure site, Steve. We, we don't expect to win business from our website. Well, why the hell not? Why wouldn't you want to win business from your website? You spent uh, at least hundreds and hopefully thousands of pounds developing it. And you're probably spending a fortune in time, maybe on social media and so on, but maybe in money to drive traffic using Google Pay Per Click, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, whatever it is you're doing to drive traffic to this website, to a website that doesn't convert. And that makes no sense whatsoever. So my message for you today is to think about what do you need to do to your website so that when people hit it, they go from somewhere, from LinkedIn or wherever to your website, that your website converts as much as possible. Now, there are, uh, in truth, a load of things that you're going to do, that you could do, but I'm going to give you, if I may, my top four tips, top four tips for improving what I call your CRO, conversion rate optimization. And this is uh, a key part of marketing, I think, any business in 2020 and going forward. You know, we spend a lot of time and effort getting people to your website. You know, you take something like, I don't know, Google uh, pay-per-click advertising, you know, and you can be paying five, ten pounds a click sometimes, but let's just assume you're paying two pounds a click. You know, you get a thousand people to go to your website. That's just cost you two grand. Uh, the key question here is how many of those thousand people are going to make an inquiry? Now, whatever that number is, we need to be working on improving it. And how do we do that? That's the thing that I'm going to not solve today because, you know, it takes more than a few minutes watching a video. But I'm going to give you what I think are my top four tips for it. Uh, number one. And it is probably number one in every sense of the word. Uh, and I'm going to say, add video to the page. Video, you know, in video, I hope you're getting my enthusiasm here. You know, I'm enthusiastic over this. And uh, I'm passionate and I, I got some level of expertise. You know, I've been doing this for 25 years now. And, you know, it's difficult to write that. That's, my, uh, you know, how can you portray that level of enthusiasm in the written word. I think when you're really expert at copywriting, you can do that to some extent, but in truth, you can never really convey that passion. There's an old saying in communication you've probably heard many times, that 8% are the words. This is how we communicate and we influence others, okay? So 8% of it is the words, 37% of it is our body language, you know, the way I gesture, the facial expression, and so on and so forth, and and the tonality in my voice. And then the last bit, the, the remaining uh, percentage is all about uh, the, the body language. And so in video, you know, I've got a chance to, you know, gesture and, and you know, and say things and mean it and so on and so forth, you know. So uh, the headline, uh, sorry, the, the video would be the number one thing I, I would um, say. The next one I've slightly given away just a second ago, and that is the headline. There's an old saying in advertising that the headline is the advert for the advert. And so, you know, I see so many pages that d just absolutely mystify me where they've got a page called Our Services. I mean, give me a break. Can't you think of anything more interesting to say than Our Services? Even if you said accountancy services, landscape gardening services, marketing services, at least you're telling people what it's about. You know, our services just doesn't hit it, you know, so or about us. There's another really interesting uh, title. So, you know, let's go and have a look at that and see if you can improve that. 
The third one, and again, this is something that's missing from, I'd, I'd estimate, 95% of the websites that I look at, or the web pages more precisely, have this missing, and that is a CTA, uh, more often called a call to action. Yeah, Tell people what to do. Give them the opportunity. Give them the opportunity to phone you, to email you, to fill in a form, to make an inquiry. Uh, to perhaps download something, you know, to do something as a result. Tell people what to do as a result of visiting a particular page and more people will do it than if you don't tell them what to do. Okay, so uh, that would be number three. So number four would be uh, around pictures on the site. There's an old saying that, you know, a picture paints a thousand words. Now you're probably gathering with my tonality here that I'm not quite as excited about this as I was about the videos. Yeah, but pictures are good, you know, and uh, my advice around pictures is perhaps have a theme to it, which is in keeping with your brand. So for example, if part of my brand is about, I don't know, the environment, then you can probably guess the type of pictures that I want to have on my website. If it's about, I really want to portray a very strong professional uh, image, then, you know, it's a different type of picture. If I'm all about technology, you know, and being, you know, towards the future and moving forward and all that sort of stuff, again, it's a different lot of pictures. And particularly if, if what I want is to be known as the traditional business, you know, we've been around for 150 years and the pictures that we use need to portray that and not something else. So uh, go and have a look at that. that. That would be more one tip for pictures. My number two tip, uh, I suppose, would be make sure you get proper ones. You know, by that, I don't, what I mean is not ones done on your mobile. With all respect to mobiles, uh, I love the technology. I love the idea that, you know, I can produce this amazing picture on a on my uh, uh, iPhone, but you know, do you know what you really need for your website? Certainly on the main pages on your website, uh, it's okay to you know do that on your blog post, but on the main pages on your website, you want professional pictures and also pictures of you. You know, pictures of you, the business owner, and or your team. Uh, you know, uh, my my saying, you can see behind me there. People buy, buy from people who they know, like, and trust. And part of this uh, four steps is getting people to know, like, and trust you. Video is a great way of getting people to know, like, and trust you. And so is pictures. So uh, that's it. I, I hope you valued that. I hope you, you know, um, take it on board and, and look at ways in which you can improve uh, your return on investment from your paid advertising if you're doing that. And if you're not, then you should be. And um, if you're just, you know, using generic social media, then again, you know, hopefully it'll help you improve the results that you get in. So if you want to know more from me, you've got a couple of options. One, you could go uh, to my website, which is stevemills.co, that's .co, and book yourself on to my next uh, webinar, my next web-based training. Um, go and have a look at my website. You'll see loads of details about it. Go and book yourself on to that. If you'd rather just take the bull by the horns and book a, uh, a, a, a some time with me, then you can do that on the website too. So uh, go and have a look at that and uh, get yourself booked in. And one thing I want to assure you, because the perception is, oh yeah, he's gonna, just gonna sell me something. You know, what's he gonna sell me if he gets me in a one-to-one a -one meeting? And uh, the truth of the matter is, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend like, I don't know, 30 to 40 minutes demonstrating my expertise, in other words, helping you, and then five minutes at the end, I'm gonna say, look, if you want any more help, these are a couple of things uh, that we can do for you. And um, you may make a decision then. There's no hard sell, you know, uh, absolutely not. Uh, so that's it. So go to my website, www.stevemills, that's M-I-L-L-S, dot C-O, dot co. Thanks very much for listening.